Hey, Foydy MJ here, and today's episode we're going to be looking at some of the historic secrets of Saint Denis, aka New Orleans. But before we get in the video, I do want to give a huge shout out to Meta Gibby because he helped me out a lot with the information on this video. So make sure to go subscribe to him. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you come to this house directly across from Saint Denis graveyard at sunset, you can hear this creepy opera music playing. How weird is that? Here's the location on the map if you want to find it for yourself. I walked the whole way around the house to see if there was any posters to say that this is maybe a music school or something, but I could not find anything. Really creepy and I actually waited till it got darker and the lights switched on inside the house, but it looks like no one's inside. Could it be a ghost band playing this music? You never know. Here's the light switching on. I also want to add that you can also hear this music on online. This cemetery in Saint Denis is based off the St. Louis Cemetery in New Orleans. Some famous people are buried here, like Delphine LaLaurie. Some of you American Horror Story fans out there will likely know who she is, as American Horror Story Coven is based around her. But if you don't know who Madame La Lurie is, she was a horrible rich person who tortured her slaves with her husband. She would do gruesome things like bathing in their blood because she thought it would keep her skin young. She even worked alongside with her husband, who was a doctor, to take apart the slaves' bones and put them back together wrongly just to see what would happen. What a sick person. She was eventually found out in 1834 as her daughter got sick of how she was treating the slaves and started a fire in the house. The townspeople came to help and discovered what she was doing as people were kept in cages and so on. I believe this grave in Saint Denis to be Madame La Lurie's grave as it looks similar to the photo that Gibby took when he was in New Orleans. The grave is unmarked so we can't be certain it's her. It's unmarked as people would probably destroy it knowing that it's her grave and rightly so. This building in Saint Denis is remodeled after the La Lurie mansion. Here's a photo Gibby took of the mansion. Next we have Rockstar's version of the monument in St. Louis's graveyard. I think this is a nice detail from Rockstar. Here is a photo that Meta Gibby sent me. And another photo. Next I want to talk about Marie Laveau. She was also portrayed in American Horror Story. She was a practitioner of voodoo and is widely known as the Voodoo Queen. Marie told people if they drew three X's on their grave that she would cast a voodoo spell and when they would come back to life they would circle the three X's to show that it worked. Here's a photo of it. Unfortunately, I can't find any X's in the graveyard in Saint Denis and neither can Meta Gibby. We've looked everywhere, but if you want to take a look for yourself and see if you could find any, that would be a great help. Here is a picture of Marie Laveau's grave. This photo may be a little hard to read. The grave I'm looking at right now in Saint Denis looks a lot like Marie Laveau's grave. What do you guys think? The night folk in RDR2 seem to be voodoo-esque people. This could be a nod to Marie Laveau. She could be their queen. I want to give you all a closer look of the night people, so I just kind of run away from them a bit and then I shoot them after, just so you can get a better look at them. I'm glad I ran into the night folk during the day, because at night time it's even creepier to encounter them. There we go, let's get them shot and killed, because we don't want them to attack us. We don't get a lot of background on the night folk. Lots of people think they are zombies, which could be true, but I do think they are into voodoo and the cult. Very creepy. That's them done for. I know they can quickly catch up on you and knife you, so I'm glad I got them killed. I wanted to give you a bit of a close-up so you can see how messed up their faces. Their skin seems to be some sort of like disorder as well, or I don't know if that's paint. I actually thought of an idea of bringing one of the night folk to the cemetery in Saint Denis to see if anything would happen. So let's watch my experiment. Right, we've got him in. Of course I'm wanted by the police even though it's a night folk person, but anyway, let's bring him into the monument there in the middle and see what happens. I did hear odd music playing there, but I don't know if that's just because I'm wanted. It probably is, but it kind of sounds like the music that played when I came across the dead body hanging from the tree. Like the same sort of music when you find the night folk. I don't know. What do you think of that? 
Nothing seemed to happen when I laid down the night folk here, but I just thought it would be a cool experiment to try out. Next I want to talk about the Saint Denis Vampire. New Orleans has been the home to vampires for many of years. The myth of vampires originates from New Orleans because women in the same asylums for France were shipped over in boats for prostitution. They developed scurvy. Scurvy makes you have very pale skin, bleed from your eyes and mouth and make you look like a typical vampire. So many people started calling these women vampires. It didn't help that they used to carry around fashionable in the times coffin like purses. So people definitely thought they were vampires then. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. I think the story of vampires in New Orleans is why Rockstar decided to add a vampire in Saint Denis. Well, I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, that really helps out the video. Subscribe to help me get monetized on YouTube. I'm almost at 1000 subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. And shout out to all the subscribers in the channel. I will be live streaming Red Dead tomorrow so hit that notification bell so you don't miss it or join the Discord server. You'll be notified there. I'll leave links down below. Also don't forget to check out Metagivy's channel as well. I'll see you in the next one.